Hi, my name is George Sawai from Market Channel. In today's tips and tricks session, I'll be demonstrating how to add filters at a column level, predefined filters, and also go through the way the layout is on each work center, adding and removing fil uh, fields, and also the layout and how we save the layouts. The look and feel across each work center is the same, making it easy to navigate and go through the system. Let's go into our order entry screen. As you can see, I've got 11 fields visible in the center. Now, if I look at that and I say, well, that ship name is not happy with where it's placed in the middle, I want to move it towards the ship container. So if I pick the column up and drag it across, then place it to where I want, so now I can see that the ship buyer and the ship name are next to each other. Now, to save that, all I have to do is now go into Options and Save Configuration. By doing so, next time I log into the system, we will have the setting that layout for my Lord of Murphy work center. Now, on top of that, I'm able to add and remove columns. Now, currently I see these 11 columns, but I want to be able to remove, say, a date created and add in a column, or even be able to add in a couple of different columns. So when you see these three dots, this allows you to do multiple things here. Not only makes our columns visible, but also we are able to sort ascending and descending, and also filtering, which we'll do a bit later on. So go into the column field that expands out, and anything that has a blue tick to it means it's visible on the screen. Anything that's not uh, with the blue tick in it allows us to be put it off of the screen. Now, from there, I say, well, I want to add my date ordered, but I want to remove my date created. And as you can see, the screen has been changing. So if I click out of there, and now I can see my date ordered. And again, if I'm not happy with the position, I can actually move that. And I want to move it on the other side of my back slip. Now, if that's my preferred layout, then I can go into my options again and save that configuration. So it's easy as that to add and remove fields and also save that layout according to that user. Now, from there, I'm going to go back and start doing some filtering. And this is at a column level filtering. So if I click on my three dots, go into my filter, I can see that I've got two criteria here. So I can turn around and say, well, I want to see all orders that are unallocated and also held short. So I'll drop that down and say, well, I want my unallocated orders or any order that has got a status of held short. Then I hit the filter and I'll filter. Now, we've got 34 orders now that are held short or, or unallocated. In turn there, I said, well, I want to see my priority one. So I can go in to my priority column, click on the three dots, go to the filter and say anything that's got a priority one. So as you can see, I've got one order that's held short that's got a priority one. From there, if I highlight that, I'm able to then allocate, delete, suspend, and so forth. Okay? It's as easy as that to filter. Then we can still create other filters as we're going along on any one of those fields. So I can clear that now, and I'll also clear. So the other option we've got here is uh, pre predefined filters. Now, predefined filters allows us to, to save those filters, and then each time we come into the system, we'll be able to run those filters without having any set criteria that we want to punch in. Now, we go up to the right-hand side with the finder glass, and we hit the finder glass there, we'll get a list of all our we'll get a list of all the fields that we're able to filter on. Now if we want to predefine anything we can actually save it but once we've created that order and I'll show you how to do that. So say for argument's sake we want to see all the toll orders and every time we log into the system we've got that ability we want that ability to do that. So we come into ship buyer type in toll and then hit the finder. So it's filtered out and says, well, there's six orders that are, are related to the toll. 
Now from there, I can save that. So go to the save button, type in file, and now it's saved. So it's become part of our list top here. We can have numerous amount of items there. So from there, I can turn around and even filter even more to it to say anything that's got tile with priority one and so forth. And you've got that ability there. So you've got the priority there. And we can save that as well. So we don't have to remember those filters that we want. It's already defined for us. Now, not only we can do that, but we can actually filter on any amount of fields. Because right now we've got a selection of these fields. But if we go into our column filter, expand that out. And from there, we're able to add or remove any field that we want to filter on. So say for argument's sake, I don't want to see product. So I'll go into the product here and I'll hit the, hit the delete button there on the X. And then you can see now the filter has removed that field. But also what we can do there is if we click on the body here, we can add any one of these fields. Say for argument's sake, I want to add into into the system the oops, and add into the system say held short if i click on held short and I scroll to the bottom i'll be able now to see the held short field so as you're going along you can add or remove any one of those fields and then create your filters accordingly and then from there save those as a predefined field that will be accessible at any time that concludes our demonstration of the filtering and how to change your layout on the work center. I hope that you found that useful. Thank you for your time and goodbye.